very superstitious. Writings on the wall. Very superstitious. Ladder about to fall. Thirteen month old baby broke her looking glass. Seven years of bad luck. Good times in your past. So sang Stevie Wonder <laughs> in his hit Superstition. In the first verse alone, Stevie gets in three of the most well-known superstitions. He's got ladders and walking under them. The number 13 and breaking mirrors. And the thing that links them all together, they are all about bad luck. You may have noticed I didn't try to sing the song. Just singing the song is unlucky. Well, it is for me. Every time I sing it, I get hurt. My wife throws things at me until I stop singing. She's even thrown a black cat at me. Is that lucky or unlucky? On balance, I thought lucky, because the cat's a damn sight softer than most things she's thrown. I have a theory. I think it's a cop-out. As long as you can blame something else for your problems, it's not your fault. I have a couple of examples. My mate crashed his car into a bus. He swears the problem was the bus number. It was the number 13. Ooh, spooky. I say the problem, he turned the wrong way down a one-way street. My friend was driving to work. Her car ran out of petrol. This made her late for work. She couldn't find a parking space. She had to use a meter. This made even later. Late for an important meeting. The meeting overran. The money in the meter ran out and she got an 80 pound fine. And the problem? She had a boiled egg for breakfast. Oh. That in itself isn't unlucky. But she forgot to push the spoon through the bottom of the empty eggshell to let all the bad luck trickle out. Bollocks! She should have put more petrol in her car. <laughs> but blaming the egg meant it wasn't her fault. Ah! <laughs> My mate has a made-up lucky superstition. He has a pair of lucky interview pants. He swears that if he wears the lucky pants to an interview, he will get the job. The lucky pants didn't work when he tried to join the commandos. <laughs> Do you know, I think I just realised what's gone wrong with my life. <laughs> so whoever wins tonight, take my advice. Don't become the 13th bard. Become bard 12A. The granny annex of bards. Thank you.